a family dinner that is ready under 20 minutes and only have four ingredients. Here is my crispy fried fish with garlic recipe. The ingredients that I have are 650 grams of whole fish. I use golden pamphlet, cut and clean. I have left the fins and tail on as it can be eaten when deep fried and crispy. One teaspoon of salt, three quarter cup of chopped garlic, two tablespoons of tapioca flour, cilantro leaf for garnishing, and oil for deep frying. First, we are going to marinate the fish with salt. Sprinkle the salt over the fish in between the cuts and rub it on the fish. Turn the fish to another side and do the same. And in the stomach. This gives an even marinade on the fish. Now the fish is marinated. I have left the fins and tail on as it can be eaten when deep fried and crispy. I will leave it aside for 15 minutes. Next, we are cooking a crispy fried garlic. Heat the pan, add half a cup of cooking oil and wait for 1 minute. Once the oil is very hot, add in chopped garlic and give it a stir. Continue to stir for 4 minutes or until the garlic has turned golden brown. Like this. Switch off the heat. Pour all the oil and garlic into the strainer to drain the oil and collect the crispy fried garlic. Spread the crispy fried garlic on the oil splash guard to drip the excessive oil and become crispier. We will leave it here to cool down while we cook the fish. I have prepared the hot oil for deep frying in a separate frying pan. The oil is now ready. Right before frying the fish, we will sprinkle tapioca flour on the fish. This is to absorb moisture from the fish, which make the fish crispier. The fish is now coated with the flour. Notice that I did not place the fish back into the tray once coated with the tapioca flour. As I didn't want the fish to get in contact with any moisture from the tray. We are going to place it directly into the hot oil. I'm using my two hands holding the fish firmly on the head and the tail. Slowly place it into the hot oil. Be careful of the oil splash. If you are not comfortable with using hands, tong or spatula can be used as well. Once the fish is in the pan, you are not supposed to touch it or turn it until it is cooked. After 6 minutes, the fish is already cooked and crispy at the bottom of the pan. Now we are going to turn the fish, using two spatula to help flip the fish. But wait, the fish tail is not cooked as it was above the oil the whole time. I'm going to lift up the fish and put the fish tail into the oil for about 30 seconds before flip the fish. Please be careful when doing this. In case the fish slip off the spatula, hot oil might splash. Otherwise, get the fish that can fit your pan. And now we are turning the fish. Oops, the fish is getting darker color at the center here. This dark color is the burnt part of the tiny fish scale. Some of the tiny fish scale has not been fully removed and it was in the contact with the pan. As it's very tiny and it burns very quickly with hot oil. For now, I will just use the spatula to scrape the burn part off. See, now it is okay. We are going to cook this side of the fish for 5 minutes. Oh. 
All right, the fish is done. I'm going to take it off from the pan and switch off the heat. Place the fish on a serving plate. Now sprinkle crispy fried garlic over the fish. This fish is supposed to be eaten immediately while it is hot. With crispy fried garlic in every bite for the crispy textures and lovely fragrance. Let's eat! Very tasty. This fish is fresh, crispy from the outside and soft on the inside. Eating it with crispy fried garlic bring out the best as every bite is crispy and fragrant. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this fast, simple fried fish with crispy garlic, please share it and subscribe for more home cooked recipe like this. This is home cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye bye.